student now we will study the the what are the types of the system and the properties of a system here in the examination question will be there like that they discuss homogeneous and heterogeneous system or the what are the types of the system depending upon the phase so there are two major types of the system homogeneous system and heterogeneous system homo meaning of the homo is the same homo means same so this system where is there is a presence of only one phase okay that is when there is a only one phase then it is called as a homogeneous system okay this system where is the presence of a more than one phases are there then it is called as a hetero hetero we know that meaning of hetero it is the different one so hetero means different one so in the system whenever there is a presence of a more than one phase then it is called as a more than one phase then it is called as a heterogeneous system okay we will consider the example for that one okay suppose water and nitric acid mixture if it is there okay water suppose it in present in the liquid form and the nitric acid again it is liquid form so liquid liquid it will together it will form a only one phase while okay suppose we are having a example of heterogeneous heterogeneous system where ice and water it is there ice no it is present in the solid form so solid plus liquid okay water in liquid form so here is there is a presence of four two phases okay see since it is having a two phases it will be the heterogeneous system okay so in the system whenever there is only one phases phase is there solid solid or liquid liquid or gas gas if it is there then it is called as a homogeneous system okay so in the homogeneous system there is a presence of a maybe liquid liquid it is there or the solid solid it is there or the there is maybe the presence of a gas or gas one okay while in the homogeneous system okay heterogeneous system there will be the combination of any one okay here the pure liquid pure liquid pure solid pure pure gas okay it will be also acts as a pure solid or liquid or gas okay it will be also example of a homogeneous system okay while heterogeneous system there is a presence of a two or two more than two phases will be there okay so here the question okay discuss the homogeneous heterogeneous system okay here the depending of phase depending upon the type of phase it is divided into the two types one okay next we will move towards the next point that is the properties of a system here the in the question examination question will be the like that define extensive property define intensive properties or write a short note on extensive property and the intensive property it is very simple okay here you remember whenever we are considering the extensive properties the properties whose magnitude is depend on the amount of substance then it is called as a extensive properties okay and the properties whose magnitude is independent independent on amount of substance amount of substance then it is called as a intensive property now here it is very simple to remember what is mean by intensive property see i n intensive okay it will be independent so it is very to simple very uh, simple to remember intensive property is independent on amount of substance present in it okay so for the example for the extensive example uh, extensive property example we know that ma, uh, volume volume 
or we can say length okay are the example where the magnitude is independent on the amount of substance okay here uh, depends on the magnitude of the substance while in the intensive property here we know that example that is the melting point boiling point or we can say refractive index or color of the substance okay and the hardness these are the properties which are independent on the amount of substance okay if we are having a 1 liter of water okay its boiling point will be the same for that of 1 ml of liquid of water okay suppose we are considering a water having a of 1 liter water will be the having same melting point and the uh, 1 ml of water will be the having a same boiling point okay so here we know that boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius so 1 liter water will be the having a 100 degrees celsius boiling point and the 1 ml also having a same boiling point so it is very simple intensity prop intensive properties independent on the amount whether it may be 1 liter or the 1 ml the boiling point will remain same one okay but whenever we consider a volume okay if any compound which uh, when a liquid it is having a some volume okay small amount will be the having a different volume and the large amount will be the having a different volume suppose we are considering 1 liter of water so 1 liter of water will be the having this much amount of a, that volume okay so 1 liter will be the having a this amount of a volume while 1 ml will be the having only this amount like that way so volume is dependent on the amount of substance Uh, again one or one more example mass mass is also depends on the amount of substance 1 kg is different 1 kg is different and 1 gram is different in this way okay the extensive properties and intensive property will can be classified okay in this way